So in a recent video, I talked all about uh, 3D backgrounds, kind of everything that you need to know about having a 3D background in your aquarium. And I got a lot of comments on that video talking about other types of uh, backgrounds, uh, not just the three dimensional kind. And because I have not a problem, but something that I want to address in this aquarium right here, we're gonna go get the easiest, cheapest, most durable background you can get for your aquarium. So let's go. Okay, so I'm outside of a store called Tap Plastics. Um, I believe it's just a regional store here in the San Francisco Bay Area, but there are other stores just like it. Basically, it's a store that specializes in selling things like acrylic, plastic, stuff like that. So um, kind of anything that you can think of plastic-wise or acrylic-wise, they probably have it for the home or business. But there's a lot of stuff in this store that you can use for aquariums. I'm just here to get some stuff for backgrounds, um, but there is a lot of other things that are in this store that you could use um, for various DIY projects. Okay, so this is what I came for. Just these the HDPE uh, plastic sheets that uh, come in different colors and make really, really good aquarium backgrounds, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. But uh, as you can see, lots of colors um, and really inexpensive. So these are less than nine bucks or about, uh, I think they're $8.45. And um, they are super durable, super inexpensive and are great backgrounds. Okay, so I grabbed uh, three of those uh, backgrounds and um, I think I just got a new subscriber as well. Uh, the guy's working in there. So anyway, now we're gonna go home and uh, set these things up. Okay, we're back from the store. And uh, if you didn't see my other video, basically I kind of went through all the pros and cons of a 3D background, but a lot of the things that I talked about in that video apply to just a regular background, why you'd want one. For, ma mainly in this situation, it's gonna be for your fish behavior. It's gonna help them feel safer because there's not gonna be one open pane that's uh, open to something else. And a lot of it is, is uh, aesthetics as well, being able to hide things behind the aquarium. So if you have filters and tubes and cords and stuff like that, you don't wanna look through your aquarium and see a bunch of stuff hanging in the back. You just wanna look through your aquarium and see your fish and maybe like a black or a blue or some kind of background behind everything. So the best, cheapest, most durable background that I found through my friend, Dean from Dean's Fish Room, you guys know Dean, he actually uh, introduced me to this product and um, it's called HDPE and that's a long name for some type of, you know, plastic uh, material. Um, I'll try to put it down below. Um, but anyway, uh, these things come in large sheets. It's, uh, I think it's 0.35 mil thick or something like that. So pretty thick. Um, imagine it's like a plastic uh, poster board almost um, in some ways. Um, so it's, if you can hear that, it's kind of, kind of has that uh, wobbly sound. Like if you were um, wobbling like a piece of like thin sheet metal or something like that. Uh, so it kind of has that same thickness as like a thin piece of sheet metal, but obviously it's plastic and it's super light. These come in all different colors. Uh, down here I actually have a couple white ones in a couple of my aquariums where I was kind of going for a different effect, um, but they come in all colors, you know, yellows and black and green and white and whatever color you might want. So obviously you can get quite creative if you're gonna do some different type of background. So the reason why I like these is because you'll never really damage these. These are, a pretty thick plastic. Um, it does kind of have like a nice uh, matte look to it, so it's not very glossy. Um, it might look a little glossy right now because I've got a big bright studio light there, but you can see even in the bright light that um, it's not reflecting a lot of uh, shine. It's pretty glossy, so or, or, or semi-gloss, I should say matte. So anyway, um, they also come in four foot lengths, which is great. So the fact that it's four feet long, well, it's 47 inches. So it's an inch shy of four feet long. But if you were to use this, like say on a 75 gallon aquarium, uh, something like that, um, 55, anything like that, it's going to be long enough to cover the entire back. Keep in mind that when you have that aquarium, you're gonna have the sides, uh, you know, where the glass is kind of sandwiched together, silicone together. So um, you'll have enough space to where when you look through the aquarium, you're not gonna see daylight on the other side. So um, it comes in the right length to cover most standard aquariums, you know, 75 gallons and down, or even a 90 gallon, I guess you could do. You could probably even do a 120 um, because it is quite tall. 
So you might be able to get away with like a 120 even, um, maybe just a little bit up from the substrate. But uh, in my situation, like on the 75s, I've got to trim off the bottom. In a 55, you'd have to trim off the bottom. Um, but this is great because it's easy to cut. You can cut it with scissors. You can cut it with an X-Acto knife, X -Acto knife or, or you know a razor knife. And you can fit it to all different size aquariums. So I've got this attached to 10 gallon aquariums, 20 gallon aquariums, 40 breeders, 29 gallons, 75 gallons. I even have two of them well, one and a half or whatever on the back of my 125. So um, it fits the behind all aquariums. In fact, this one right back here, that the Mbuna tank, that's an acrylic tank. And it also has one of these right behind it, that black background. So you can attach this in multiple ways. You can just, you know, stick it on the back rim with like some tape. Uh, that's usually how I do it. Um, just because it's easy to take on and off. So you can put like some gaff tape or some duct tape or painter's tape or whatever you wanna use, something that will be strong enough to hold this and uh, you can't see it from the front. Now, the great thing about this, besides it being super durable um, and also very easy to manage. So again, you can cut this in many different sizes depending on the size of your aquarium. You can also um, put multiple backgrounds together. So for example, Let's let's say that you had like a very large tank, uh, you know, eight foot long tank or even a six foot long tank. So four feet's not going to cover it. Basically, all you need to do is line up two of these and just kind of sandwich. I wouldn't say sandwich, but layer one over the other so that you don't have like an open seam. And you can just adhere that the same way to the back of the tank. And most likely you're not going to see that transition. I don't notice it at all on my 125. Also, it's very inexpensive. This thing is $8.45. So if you think about, even when you go to like a big box pet store and they have like those rolls of, um, those rolls of backgrounds that are different colors, they might have scenes of rocks or plants or I don't know, uh, you know, something from ancient Greece or whatever, they have those backgrounds that you can basically roll out and cut. Um, they're cheap but they also are super flimsy. Um, they look terrible in my opinion, in most cases, unless you're really, really meticulous as far as how you attach it to your aquarium. Um, and they're not that much less expensive than this. So $8.45 gets you a four foot, I forgot how tall this is, but it's more than 24 inches, I wanna say. But anyway, it's, it's quite tall, 22 inches or so. Um, a large background that you can basically use on multiple aquariums. So let's say that you had a 55 and you had this on the back, you could take it off and put it on a 60. You could cut it in half and put it on a couple 20s or whatever. So it's very durable, it's very easy to use, um, multi multiple purposes obviously, and uh, just a really, really easy, inexpensive, durable background for your aquarium. So now let's get to why I got this. Uh, basically I got these, um, one, just to have some extra ones in case I move tanks around or get new tanks. Um, and since I was making the trip, I just bought a few of them. I bought three, but really the reason why I went down there to get one in particular is because of my 60 gallon tank in my living room. So in that, in that, uh, aquarium, I have a 3d background that I built, um, which I love. Um, and I put caves in there, which I've talked about in the other video, and there's a purpose for those caves, but those caves go all the way through to the back. So I used to have like some cardboard back there and the cardboard fell down. And basically that just blocked light coming through. So because it's on the, the back side of that aquarium is against a sliding glass. Well, it's against a big giant window. There's no door there, but um, it's like part of the sliding glass uh, door, I guess. Um, you can see right through it. So if the sun's shining, you can look at the aquarium and you see this like circular white light coming through since that cardboard fell down. So I got this to replace that cardboard. I know that I'll never have to worry about it getting wet and damaged or anything like that. So I'll just stick it on the back and then when I look at that aquarium, it'll just be a dark hole and not like light shining through the rock background. So there you have it. No cinematic movie like last week, just a very simple short video talking about a very inexpensive and easy product that most of you should be able to find somewhere where you live. If you've ever used these before, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to read how you have used these, or if you have questions on this specific product, I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. That's all I had for now. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. That's all I had for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.